spraying you guys. <laughs> okay. Today we're gonna be spraying black stuff in certain areas of my car. I'm gonna be um, undercoating my rear wheel wells because there's a bunch of red overspray in them and they just don't, it just doesn't look good. And then I'm gonna attempt to plastic dip the rear badges and do a better job this time because I did a horrible job um, before. It's just, it's just bad. So let's get started. Yeah. So you can see what I mean. It's all this red stuff and you can see it from the wheel well. It also doesn't help that the car is also a monster truck because I haven't lowered it yet. So I'm just gonna spray all this red and up in, probably like up to about here. I don't know. We'll see. Gonna mask everything off and we'll get spraying. Okay, so just finished masking. I did my best. I wouldn't call myself a masking god, but it's not too, too shabby. Um, this stuff seems like it's, doesn't say anything about getting it on, um, any rubber or um, plastic uh, wires or anything like that. So I think I'll be safe. I'm only going up to about here. And they start spraying. Okay, so this is the first coat. And it already looks really bad. <laughs> I was about to say really better. <laughs> it already looks really good. Um, I think I'll do one more coat. I'll wait for this to dry for a little bit. The coverage is absolutely awesome. While it's drying, I'm going to peel this off and mask it. Hopefully once that's done, I can do the second coat here, put the tire back on and um, do this. Then when that's drying, I'll get this side ready. Yeah, it should be good. But um, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. It's gonna look way better. So yeah. That is so satisfying when it comes off like that. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, damn it, I was on a roll there. Okay, so I got this all masked off and these have been sitting in the furnace room warming up so it sprays way finer than it did before. So fingers crossed it'll, um, it'll turn out better this time. <laughs> So if you remember in the last video, the first coat was coming up super, super blotchy, but as you can see, it's way more fine. And I'm gonna give it a lot more time to uh, dry as well. This is like, it's only been like a minute. Cause in the last video, I lied. Yeah, I, I waited like two minutes for it to dry, so. Oh, out of focus. Manual focus, manual focus for the wind. Over here under the fender, it looks like, it still looks like I just sprayed it. It's gonna take a long time to dry. It says on the can four to six hours. So that means I can't go up for, oops. That means I can't go up for a little rip. I'd also like to plastic dip these stalkers because the wheels I want to get for this, I think I'm going to go with black ones. So if I could plastic dip these stalkers and it give me a better idea of how it'll look. Because you can look up pictures and there's not a lot of, there's, there's actually no pictures of a lowered Mazda 2 with black rims on it that's red. So I'm going to probably do a separate video for this eventually. I'll need more cans of plastic dip and see how those turn out. So this is coat number two. Some advice while the second coat of dip is drying on the badges. Once you're done masking out your area that you don't want to be sprayed, then mask it up more. Because even though, like Plasti Dip isn't as fine as spray paint, but it still oversprays a lot. I've masked this before, but there's always, there's little bits and pieces of dip that had gone on this side. There's a bit of a breeze coming in from here, but um, just a piece of advice, mask out way more than you think you need to. That bird is so loud. So as you can see, it looks way better. My second coat the other day did not look this good. So I'm just about ready for the third coat. Oh my, shut up! Yeah, just about ready for the third coat. And it's gonna be lit, cause I'm actually psyched. I'm really happy that this is actually turning out properly. Um, yeah, there we go. Sorry. Oh, whoops. There we go. That's good. Go away. I think it's gone now. It's, it's. 
So I said that I would do another coat of this, but the coverage on it is absolutely amazing. So I don't think I will. Or this is my indecisive side starting to come on. Nah. Or no, it looks good. Yeah. So I only did like probably used like a 48th of this can because there's still a ton left. I'm sure if I threw it at someone, it would knock them out still because there's still lots in it. But um, I'm going to unmask all this and then I'll get the other side ready. And then by the time that side's ready, I'll be ready for the fourth coat on the badges. Peace. Peace. All right, so I just lowered this side and all I have to say is wow. It just looks way better and way cleaner. It adds a lot more contrast to the car. I'll be showing the before shot right now and you'll be able to see how how kind of ugly it looks. But now it just adds a lot more contrast and depth to the car. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. And I know the camera doesn't pick it out super well, but it does look way, way better. But yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can see it just looks, just looks Bad, right? It just doesn't look that good. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. That's awesome. Coming out great so far. This is the fourth coat. I just sprayed it so it looks kind of runny, but it's already gonna be way better than what I did before. That's Buddy's Mustang over there. But anyway, this looks pretty bumping. I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is the fourth coat and it looks pretty damn good. It's still a little bit textured, but it is from, plastic it from a spray can, so it's not gonna be perfect, but it's, I'm way happier with it. Always forget to take before and after pictures. Always. I remembered as soon as I uh, dropped the car down that I didn't take an after picture, but oh well. So the time has come to unmask all this. Alrighty, so I just finished peeling off the dip, and it turned out way better than it did before. I'm really pleased with it. Before, you would have to look super... You wouldn't have to look close at all to see all the imperfections, but now... You do. Looks way better. Obviously not perfect, but it looks way better. I didn't film it just because I'm low on battery on this thing. And I'm low on memory, so... Didn't want to use up all my memory. And the wheel wells, they turned out awesome too. Hard to see on camera, but it does look way better in person. So yeah, that's uh, my little evening project finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched till now, then thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have yourselves a good one. See ya.